Mary Armstrong, 91, lives at 3326 Pierce Avenue, Houston, Texas. She was born on a farm near St. Louis, Missouri, a slave of William Cleveland. Her father, Sam Adams, belonged to a nigger trader who had a farm adjoining the Cleveland place. As Aunt Mary, all right? But you all has to excuse me if I don't talk so good. Because I's been feeling poorly for a spell, and I ain't so young no more. Law me, when I think back what I used to do, and now it's all I can do to hobble around a little. Why, Miss Olivia, my mistress, used to put a glass plum full of water on my head and then have me waltz round the room. And I dance so smooth like I don't spill nary a drop. That was in St. Louis, where I was born. You see, my mama belonged to old William Cleveland and old Polly Cleveland. And they was the meanest two white folks that ever lived. Cause they was all us beaten on their slaves. I know, cause mama told me, and I hears about it other places. And besides, old Polly, she was a Polly devil, if there ever was one. And she whipped my little sister what was only nine months old, and just a baby to death. She come and took the diaper off in my little sister and whipped till the blood just ran. Just cause she cried, like all babies do. And it killed my sister. I never forgot that. But I saw some even with that old pilot devil. And it's this away. You see, I was about 10 year old and I, I belongs to Miss Olivia. What was that old Polly's daughter? And one day, old Polly devil comes to where Miss Olivia lives after she marries and tries to give me a lick out in the yard. And I picks up a rock about as big as half your fist and hits her right in the eye and busted the eyeball and tells her that's for whipping my baby sister to death. You could hear her holler for five miles, but Miss Olivia, when I tells her, says, well, I guess mama has learned her lesson at last. But that old Polly was mean like her husband, old Cleveland, till she die. And I hope stay as burning in torment now. I don't remember about the start of things so much, except what Miss Olivia and my mama, her name was Sibby, tells me. Of course, it's powerful cold in winter times and the farms was a lot different from down here. They calls them plantations down here but up in St. Louis, they was just called farms. And that's what they was. Because we raised us wheat and barley and rye and oats and corn and fruit. The houses was built with brick and heavy wood too. Because it's cold up there. And we has to wear the warm clothes and days wove on the place. And we work at it in the evenings. Old Cleveland takes a lot of his slaves what was in custom and brings them to Texas to sell. You know, he wasn't supposed to do that. Because when you was in custom, that's cause he borrowed money on you and you's not supposed to leave the place till he paid up. Of course, old Cleveland just tells the one he owed the money to you had run off or squirmed out some way. He was that mean. Mama say she was in one bunch and me in another. Mama had been put for this with my papa, Sam Adams, 
but that makes no difference to old Cleveland. He's so mean. He never would sell the man and woman and chilling to the same one. He sell the man here, the woman now, and if they's chilling, he sell them someplace else. Oh, oh, Satan in torment couldn't be no meaner than what he and old Polly was to they slaves. He chained a nigga up to whoop him and rub salt and pepper on him, like he said, to season him up. And when he sell a slave, he greased their mouth all up to make it look like they been fed good and was strong and healthy. Well, mama say they had no more and got to Shreveport for some lawman caught your old Cleveland and takes him all back to St. Louis. Then my little sister's born, the the one old Polly devil killed, and I was about four year old then. Miss Olivia takes a liking to me, and though her papa and mama so mean, she's kind to everyone, and they just love her. She marries to Mr. Will Adams, what was a fine man, and has about five farms and 500 slaves, and he buys me for her from old Cleveland and pays him $2,500 and gives him George Henry, a nigger to boot. Lousy, I show happy to be with Miss Olivia and away from old Cleveland and old Polly because they killed my little sister. We lives in St. Louis on Chinquapin Hill and I as a house girl. And when the babies start to come, I nurses them and spins thread for clothes on the loom. I spend six cuts of thread a week. But I has plenty of time for myself. And that's where I learns to dance so good. Law, I show just crazy about dancing. If I sit and eating my victuals and here's a fiddle play, <laughs> I gets up and dances. Mr. Will and Miss Olivia show is good to me, and I never calls Mr. Will massa neither. But when they's company, I calls him Mr. Will. And around the house by ourselves, I calls them Pappy and Mammy, cause they raises me up from the little girl. I hears old Cleveland done took my mama to Texas again, but I couldn't do nothing, cause Miss Olivia wouldn't have much truck with her folks. Once in a while, old Polly comes over, but Miss Olivia tells her not to touch me or the others. Old Polly tries to buy me back from Miss Olivia, and if they had, they'd killed me show. But Miss Olivia say, I wade in blood as deep as hell for I let you have Mary. That's just the very word she told him. Then I hears my papa is sold someplace I don't know where. Of course, I didn't know him so well, just what mama told me, so that didn't wear me like mama being took so far away. One day, Mr. Will say, Mary, you want to go to the river and see the boat race? Law me, I never want to forget that. Where we live, it ain't far to the Mississippi River, and pretty soon, here they comes, the Natchez and the Eclipse with smoke and fire just pouring out of the smoke shacks. That old captain on the clips starts putting in bacon meat in the boiler and the grease just comes out blazing <laughs> and it beat the Natchez to pieces. I stays with Miss Olivia till 63 when Mr. Will set us all free. I was about 17 year old in or more. I say I go and find mama. Mr. Will fixes me up two papers, one about a yard long and the other some smaller, but both has big gold seals, what he says is the seal of the state of Missouri. He gives me money and buys my fare ticket to Texas and tells me they is still slave times down here and to put the papers in my bosom, but to do whatever the white folks tell me, even if they wants to sell me. But he say, for well, you gets off the block, just pull out the papers, but just hold them up to let the folks see and don't let them out of your hands. 
And when they sees them, they has to let you alone. Miss Olivia cried and carry on and say, be careful of myself because it's so rough in Texas. She gave me a big basket where it has so much to eat in it. I couldn't hardly heft it. And nothing with clothes in it. They put me in the back end of the boat where the big old wheel what run the boat was. And I goes to New Orleans. And the captain puts me on another boat. And I comes to Galveston. And that captain puts me on another boat. And I comes up this here Buffalo boat. By you to Houston. I looks round Houston, but not long. It sure was a dumpy little place then, and I gets the stagecoach to Austin. It takes us two days to get there, and I thinks my back busted show enough. It was such rough riding. Then I has trouble show. A man asked me where I going, and I says to come long and he takes me to a Mr. Charlie Crosby. They takes me to the block what they sell slaves on. I gets right up like they tells me cause I lex what Mr. Will Dunn told me to do. And they starts bidding on me. And when they cried off and this Mr. Crosby comes up to get me I just pulled out my papers and held them up high. And when he sees them, he say, let me see them. But I says, you just look at it up here. And he squints up and say, this gal and free and has papers and tells me he a legislature man. and takes me and lets me stay with his slaves. He is a good man. He tells me there's a slave refugee camp in Wharton County, but I didn't have no money left. But he pays me some for working. And when the war's over, I starts to hunt Mama again and finds her in Wharton County near where Wharton is. Law me. Talk about crying and singing and crying some more. We sure done it. I stays with Mama till I gets married in 1871 to John Armstrong. And then we all comes to Houston. I gets me a job nursing for Dr. Relaford and was all through the yellow fever epidemic. I lexed in 75 people died just like sheep with the rots. I seen folks with the fever jump from their bed with death on them and grab other folks. The doctor saved lots of folks, white and black, because he sweated out of them. He mixed up hot water and vinegar and mustard and some else in it. Love me. <laughs> so much is gone out of my mind. Because I was 91 year old now. And my mind just like my legs. Just kind of hobble around a bit. Mm-hmm.